Hi, I'm Lou the Pick, and this is Crack Mods and Gaming. Today I'm going to show you the fastest way you can install your own dedicated server. Let's get started. One of the first things you want to do is you want to figure out your directory structure, where you're going to put your dedicated server files. Normally I just put them in my uh, the root of my C drive, because this dedicated server it's not going to do anything else. So create a Steam CMD folder there. Next, we want to download Steam CMD EXE from here. URL is in the description. You can extract it where it downloads, or you can extract it in your Steam CMD. If you extract it here, just extract all. I cut the Steam CMD EXE out of the folder extracted to, put it in the root of Steam CMD, and delete the additional folders that are in there just to keep things neat and clean. So once that's done, we want to go to this URL in the description and look for the dedicated server app ID. This is the list of all the Steam dedicated servers. I'm just going to search for Conan Exiles. Once you have the dedicated server that you want to download, simply copy the ID because we're going to need it in our script in a minute. All right, this is our down and dirty script. Uh, this is where we want our dedicated server to be. We are going to log in anonymous, our app update. This is our app ID. This is also an updater file. So when you want to update the server to the latest version when it changes, I'm going to eliminate validate because that doubles the work and our quit tells it to automatically turn off when we're done. All right, once we have our script, we want to save it in the root of our Steam CMD folder. And you want to name it whatever, start Conan, you can name it whatever, as long as the extension or the, it ends with .bat. If you save it as a text file, it will not work. So once we have that saved in the root of our Steam CMD folder, we want to run the update bat file or whatever you named it. This will install all the CMD packages. It will install all of the server packages. It automatically asks for firewall exceptions. So you don't have to log into Steam putting in command line. You don't have to go to your firewall to do exceptions. You don't have to do any of this does it all for you. Once this is done, you are done. All you have to do is configure your server. And you'll see, there's our server. Everything's done for you.